And welcome back into Coleman today. With us this morning, Leah Bolin is here representing the Chamber of Commerce, the Coleman Area Chamber of Commerce. And we're going to learn so much this morning. Great activities going on. Uh, what's happening? I'm glad you always get area. Yeah. You know, the Chamber's changed area. its name two or three times. Yes. Um, and latter, we included the name area. And right. the reason that is so important is we represent all of Coleman County. All of the county. So we're not we're not a city or county entity. We're private, mm -hmm. uh, representing uh, small business, large business industry, and the community as a whole. So I'm right. glad that you say that. Absolutely. It does make a difference. It does. Doesn't it? it does make a difference. We want everybody to feel part of this. We do, because you so. are. We are. Yes. We all are. Um, and I've had so much fun, and I'll, I'll tell you in our next segment um, about some of the things that we've got going. But, okay. but because of some things we're working on, I've been able to do some things I don't get to do, and that's go out and talk to people right. um, and get their feedback and share with them. And every time I get to do that, I remember why I love this town yeah. so much. You know, everybody is so community-oriented and great things. And so when I start reading off this list, you're going to go, oh my goodness, there's a lot going on this spring. Right. One new thing I want to talk about and we may have touched on it briefly, but we're having, you know, we've really revamped tourism. And the right. tourism, we have a new lobby. We're going to okay. have a ribbon cutting for that. You may just skip onto the ribbon cutting one okay. as we're talking about it. Right. Uh, that ribbon cutting is scheduled this month. And let me find the date because I don't want to say I've got pages and pages <laughs> of information. Good. Um, the ribbon cutting is scheduled for April the 16th. 16th. Okay. And that is right after our morning blend. And that's okay. our new tourism lobby. And so we've got all kinds of new things and racks and things we want you to participate. But we've really been um, vamping up our tourism office, redoing it. We've got a new tourism board. Right. So they're doing an event called the Tourism Bash. Okay. And it's real similar to the to the annual meeting, but right. on the tourism side. Okay. So that's later in May. We'll talk about that event. But what I need people to do right now is we're having the uh, Tourism Awards. Okay. This is for anyone who's in the tourism industry. And you think, well, that's an attraction only, right. but it's not. You have the White Glove Award. You have the um, all different awards for um, for restaurants, okay, right. retail, retail okay. attractions, lodging, uh, friend of tourism, okay. which could be an individual award, recreational right. folks. Right. So there are dozens, and so we want you to go to our website, ColemanChamber.org. And you can click, there's a link there Okay. that's sponsored by the Shopper's Guide. Great. And it is going to be a great event. It's going to be a morning event, and they're going to hold that, I believe it's at Stonebridge, uh, for breakfast. For breakfast, So okay. it's going to be a really great event later in May, and we'll talk more about that. It is May the 6th. May 6th, mm -hmm. okay. And Lee right. Centel, who is the State Tourism Director, will be the guest speaker for that. Fun. So put that on your calendar it's be now. really, really good. Breakfast at 8 a.m. Okay. Okay, so, and it is at Stonebridge. Okay. So we just got three things knocked out at one time. Exactly. So be sure, go and nominate. Those are actually due April the 11th. Oh, okay. So that's quick. I mean, yeah, it's just a few days away, so, so even if it's a hair late, we might could let you okay. in. Okay. You know, right. because it's a brand new thing. Absolutely. Also, we have got our State of the Schools coming up. That is April the 14th. It's at Wallace State Community College. Okay. It's in the new nursing facility. So if you haven't had a chance to see that, it is absolutely it's gorgeous. Yes. Um, so we're having it there. It is in the evening. And let me tell you what, what all this is going to cover. It is going to get uh, your address from both superintendents. This will be okay. one of Billy Coleman's last things to do. Okay. Uh, so Billy will be uh, speaking on the state of the schools for the county, right. and Doreen Griffith, Dr. Griffith, will be doing that for the city. Okay. Uh, Dr. Karlowitz will also be doing that for, for Wallace for State. Wallace, okay. We will also have our Student of the Year awards that we're Great. giving and our Teacher of the Year oh, awards. Neat. Okay. So all of that will take place that evening. It's a great event. And that's April the 11th. April the 11th. Uh, excuse me, April the 14th, 14th okay. Wallace State, 6 okay. p.m. Um, it is presented by Chick-fil-A, so okay. thank you to our sponsor for that. And you can buy a table or individual seat okay. and call the chamber to get that. To That's get that. not something you're going to want to miss. It's a great event. We yeah. have not done it where all of those things are together, together before. Yeah. So this is an opportunity because we're doing it at night mm -hmm. instead of the morning. Right. Parents and teachers now can participate and students. Okay. So it, may, it opens it up for everybody, for everybody to be able to take advantage of okay. that. So we're, we're super excited about that. Absolutely. Um, we also have our Membership 101. So if you are a chamber member, if you're new or if you're just old and you hadn't, you don't know what we're doing anymore, <laughs> come to the 101. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, it's at 1130 mm -hmm. on April the 24th. That's at right. the chamber. And we're just, it's really a quick session on how you can take advantage of your membership, okay. but also kind of what's going on on the events we're doing and, and how you can get plugged right. in okay. um, to that. Our community luncheon 
It was great. CSX came last month, uh, and it was on railroad safety, and I really learned a lot okay. of things I didn't know. Didn't know. Hey, did you know that that X, the railroad crossing, what that means? I don't. It's a yield sign. Okay. So you know people that stop, and you almost rear end them because right. they actually stop when there's they not They know what a, they're doing. Yeah. No, you don't stop. You yield. You oh, just keep yield. going. You just slow down. Didn't know but that. But if, if it's blinking or if the thing's down, obviously you don't go around them, which I, I knew that. I, uh, yeah, we knew that part. Yeah, but it was, it was very, it was very interesting. interesting. But yeah. uh, we've got two great um, months coming up. Okay. This month in April we have a lady named Pam Dore. It's okay. very interesting and I brought a little bit about her because I wanted to share it. She's an entrepreneur. She lives in rural Alabama down in Greensboro. Greensboro. And okay. if you've been to Greensboro you know it's pretty rural yes. down in South Alabama. Not a lot she, there. She came there. She was a Victoria's Secret designer. Interesting Neat. for all you men. Um, and so she, I'm not sure how she ended up in Greensboro but it was literally like a ghost town. Mm -hmm. So she wanted to do something to rejuvenate that. So she started a business. There's bamboo lying everywhere. Oh, yes, I heard about it. She her. took the bamboo and yes. she developed bicycles out of yes. it, very lightweight. Yes. And it's uh, a national company now. She's going to bring one of those oh, bikes. Oh, good. I want to. I want to see this. That's this right. Be so so good. she started though um, housing. Mm -hmm. She she started up six new businesses in that downtown area where they've taken wow. blighted areas and turned it into a productive business. Created like 60 new jobs. This is from one individual with a vision that's. That's, that's now fun. just blossomed. So yeah. it's a great story. Um, that is our community. She has a lot speaker. of energy, doesn't she? She does. And that's April the 25th. It starts at 1130. Okay. Uh, goes to one. We're very punctual. And um, super excited. That's presented, obviously, by Mickey Parish State Farm. Does our okay. all of our community luncheons every right. year. And then our specific sponsor this month is ATN, okay. Alabama Technology So April Network. 25th. Put that on your calendar. And then just to give you a little teaser. Yeah. We have somebody pretty awesome coming in May. He's, what's my hint? You he's know, super good looking. Get, super good looking. And he's a sports star. Oh, wow. And he's our speaker I could in name May. several. So I'll give you that teaser and then we'll, <laughs> we'll talk about who that is okay. when I come back next Baseball, month. Baseball, maybe? Jay Barker. Maybe. <laughs> um, April the 26th, okay. we have our golf for education. Okay. F O R E. F O R E. Um, this is one of my favorite events yeah. that we do. We Again, we've changed this up a little bit. It's at Fun Zone. It's normally in the morning during the week. Okay. We've changed this to a Saturday. Okay. That Fun. way, the teachers and the students mm -hmm. can attend this with their parents. Oh, good. Because okay. what you're doing, you're, the students are $10. Um, everyone else is 20. Right. But what you're playing for is a chance to win money for your school. Oh, nice. It's putt-putt golf. Okay. Everybody, even you and I can yeah, play putt-putt golf. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. And so grab someone. You can bring, you know, your grandchildren. Right. You could bring your kids. You could just come with your golfing buddies. Right. Raise money Anybody for your school. And raise money. And you get to pick the school that you're playing for. Neat. And we have overall winners. We have individual hole winners. Right. So Wonderful. it's a great event. And you okay. need to sign up for that at ColemanChamber.org okay. immediately. Okay. That is April the 26th. Okay. Go raise money for your child's school. Absolutely. It is a really awesome Absolutely. event. Wonderful. And that's sponsored by RJR Mining. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. He, he, they, RJR loves this event, yes. and they have supported it for okay. many, many, many years. Okay, wonderful. And then the last event that I want to talk about this morning that's coming up between now and the next time I'm, I'm here right. is May 2nd. We're having our membership appreciation cookout. Okay. Um, obviously, this is for members of the chamber, not right. just to, to everyone, but we hope that, that you'll join the chamber. But sure. we want to show folks how much we appreciate their membership and what they do for the community. Yes. Because the reason you join the chamber is so we can take those dollars and do more things Absolutely. in different areas. And so we're going to have a cookout and Jim and Nick's is providing the, the food. Neat. So Neat. they're going to come. We're going to do it in the breezeway at the chamber, have a okay. little picnic. So you're going to come from 11 to 2 <clears> and <throat> eat lunch. Just whatever time you eat lunch, swing by, just we'll give you by. free lunch. Neat. Pat on the back, hug around the neck, and say, say thanks for coming and oh, thanks wait, for being a member. Say thank yeah. you yeah. to your members. So That's that good. is that is May the 2nd, okay. 1130 in the Chamber Breezeway. Um, that got us. Don't forget those tourism awards, though, because that's, yes. that's pretty big. And, I, and just in case I don't get back in time to talk mm -hmm. about this, we're going to have a Coleman Area Reverse Business Industry Trade okay. Show Expo. Say that back. I can't. I can't either. I can't. It's called Carbite. That's why we named okay. it Carbite. Okay. Um, what this is, is it's um, it's going to be held at the Civic Center on that day. Okay. Um, it is uh, sponsored by R.J. Uh, Young. Okay. And they are going to take, it would be essentially 
the folks who are the GMs or the owners of large corporations will be in the booths. Mm -hmm. And as a service industry, you're going to be able to attend the expo right. and go visit them to tell them the services you have to offer them. Okay. So it's reversed okay. to a normal trade show. Sure. Normally Neat. the services are in the booths and you're hoping that those other people come to so you can tell them. Sure. So it's it's flipped. Reverse. So, I like it. Yeah, it's a really great event. <clears throat> and so any of you who have a service you want, you know, to work with the industry or big corporations right. and you want to let them know that you do windows, you have janitorial services, mm -hmm. you do copiers, you whatever it is whatever you do. Whatever you do. Uh-huh. It's a great event. So you can sign up for that if you want to be in the booth and okay. again that's May the 7th. May the 7th. So many, I know you're out of breath, Okay. so many activities and yes. so much to do that's going to benefit you and your business and your employees um, or you just as an individual. Best thing to do because there are so many is get online um, if you don't get the little, and, and you do it online too now, the newsletter. Yes. So you can go online and see all of these different activities and then go down there, there and put the ones that you're going to attend on your calendar. Correct. So you don't forget because it's so important. Give us that website. All right, it's colemanchamber.org. Easy, easy. Easy. That and number. you can just Google it, Coleman Chamber. And yeah. And it'll bring it up And it'll bring you. it up. 4 <laughs> um, All of a sudden, I just That's, forgot it. I'm oh, surprised you got that far. That's wow. good. Goodness. All right, we'll be back with more of the chamber right after this.